Yeah, you said you were gay. <laughs> All right, so I go, I'll have the pad thai, chicken pad thai thing. <laughs> the B side word. Okay. Um, we've already done one kind of on a bit of harassment, but here's another one. Mm. Um, <laughs> AFL, which is Aussie football, football rules. Aussie, Aussie oh, rules. Wait, Aussie rules football league. Aussie rules. Is that right? No, no, just Aussie rules. FL football league. Australian football league. Is it Australian football league? Okay, AFL in Australia um, have come up in the media because of some inappropriate grabbing of the tush. So, <laughs> tush, um, tush. Oh, is, is, it the, is this the ladies one? So Whoa. there's been a few. There's been one, if, if you just Google um, sports bum grabs or AFL bum grabs or something. Yeah, there's been a few. So no, like there was the, the ladies team. There was a frontal team. grab. Yes. So there was a frontal grab recently as well. And that's why it's come up again in the media um, because the AFL governing body, I don't know what it's called, um, basically said that they condemn this behavior. So the, the <laughs> recently... Okay, there's been bum grabbing, right? Yeah. So like you're singing the national anthem and someone's grabbing the other dude's bum while singing, right? Or um, yeah, the girl <laughs> grabbed the girl grabbed her the, the I think she was a hockey player maybe and she grabbed her teammate's bum and was just holding it, you know, holding, yeah, yeah. squeezing, whatever. Um, but then recently there was they were in the locker room and I don't know what team it was, but um, yeah, they were singing the victory song and the Tigers. He grabbed his yeah his crotch. The front one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, is there a back crotch? <laughs> no. So he grabbed, he grabbed the front part. <laughs> yeah. Um, just hand That's on it, box. hand on it, and then <laughs> and then would move to the back and give it a bit of a squeeze and back yeah. to the front. Yeah. Um, I, so, I, uh, like, I still don't understand the necessary. Why is it necessary <laughs> to do this? Yeah. Honk um, honk. <laughs> so, um, AFL, I don't know what they're called. The governing body said we condemn this behaviour and need to learn from what happened and ensure that everyone across the AFL understands that we must have working environments that are free from any form of inappropriate conduct or sexual harassment. Um, they said that they've they've uh, a strong commitment to gender equality and respect and responsibility. Blah blah. blah. Um, and yeah, we've seen in recent times players from a number of clubs touching each other inappropriately, and it's clearly not the standard of high performance. Now, one of the um, media reporters went to a sports psychologist about this, and the sports psychologist basically said, in the sporting environment, it's a piece of behavior that's normalized, um, and it's only sexualized if you impose something on it. Like they see it as just a way of belonging. It's always been there. It's always probably going to be there. It's just because it's the nature of athletes. Um, so what do you guys think? Bum grabs right, my, curi- my curiosity is this. Any of the people being fondled, did they complain? Were they upset or full harassed? If you watch or- that, did you watch that video? I mean, no. I've, I've, the, I've seen the- Yeah, the front, the front grab guy. Who got grabbed multiple yeah. times and reacted every single time? Where is Did it? He? Where's that article? Well, in that article. Yeah, the video's in the in the article. Okay, I'm gonna book now. I haven't seen the video to be honest with you. I saw it on the paper and I was like, you know, he maybe, reacts. Maybe it's what, it, like it happens I'm, multiple times and he reacts every uh, single time. Like, maybe they're good friends and this is how they celebrate. I don't know. So, so this is my theory, right? It's I've been a part of sports teams, male sports teams, my whole life. Like, when I was in school, I played for every sports team. Typically, rugby and football, this is behavior you see a lot. Um, Something I'm also aware of in sports, now I'm going to go to women's sports for this, and then back to men's sports. So, in women's sports... I'm not making any blanket statements. This is just purely observations, maybe anecdotal, but you typically get a lot of homosexual women in sports as well. So like, as as far as... But if you look at, if you look at (laughs) outwardly spoken homosexuals in both women's and men's sport, there's far more high percentage in women's sports than men's sports. Yeah. I think there's probably just a lot of homosexual men in men's sports but they're just not open about it. And that's probably where all this stuff starts. Yeah. Because to me, 
There is nothing non-sexual about grabbing my ass or my front crotch, as we're calling it. <laughs> regardless. Like, even when I was a kid, when they would do all this Thank stuff, God. I was like, why you do it? Like, I, I personally wouldn't engage in it. Because yeah. I was like, and they knew, they knew not to engage me in it. Yeah. So I was just like, this, like, this isn't, fun. like, I, okay, I'm just going to say that you, I don't know if you guys experience this kind of, but they, they would do like, they would act gay things as a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's a very common thing yeah. in male manly sports. That's not, like, I don't, to me, there's, it's not even like a, a fear thing or anything like that. It's just, it's just like, no, that's just not, like, I don't understand how that's, a, I don't know where the joke uh, part comes in. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, know, I, I feel like it's, an, I feel like there's desires being expressed. So are you saying the ball, oh. the ball slap? Is um like the What's you know ball slap? you know the ones that like you, you just yeah, stand there uh, and then someone just watch whack. it and you're like oh man why why wasn't it ready <laughs> oh it's because like my you're never ready for that <laughs> yeah I know but it's like my my every time someone kind of like a, a guy goes past me I always go there's a chance this guy's gonna do a ball slap on me right and my hands go straight to my crotch I protect my crotch at all times it's it's no matter like in soccer at like. At work, wherever, it's just like it's coming anytime. <laughs> anytime this could happen, right? Which is like it's so, not, w- and, but it's different just, to a, f- a just, just for you, What are you thinking? Random men want to grab you, but are nuts? No, nah, I'm not talking <laughs> about random random men. I'm talking about people that I know. Well, this is interesting because you said oh. work and stuff. Like the people that you're talking about that do this, that you do, you have this mentality around. Are they a certain type of people? Or no. are they just a random diverse spread of people? It is. Uh, it's a buffet. Mixing, it's mixing a buffet part. of people. <laughs> like it is. It's. You just don't know. That's why I make the game so intense. Because <laughs> you don't know where it's coming see, from. See, from my from my experience, like bearing in mind, basketball is my main sport. The sport that I played for yeah. multiple teams across multiple years. Never, never did it happen in a basketball team ever. That is not the culture of basketball. Yeah. Never did it happen on tennis. Never did it happen in badminton. Never did it. It only happened in rugby and football yeah. like those two sports were the yeah. t- in my mind the gayest sports not in terms of the sport themselves in terms of the amount of people i believe were homosexuals and just not being forward about it which i don't like i just want to make this clear by the way i don't care it's just weird that we paint it as this just a no, it's just a lad's thing. No, it's not a lad's thing. Yeah. Like it's very isolated. <laughs> it's um, but like so the so you weren't big on the bum bum pat. <laughs> you weren't big on it. No, no, there's a difference between a bum pat and like oh, grabbing okay. someone's yeah, ass. Yeah, a, a, a fondle. But you never you never engaged in the in the ball slack. Like not fondling the balls. Just like just like so the guy gets like oh feels it I in think his. I've, I think why, I've done it maybe. Why like do you want to? I'm so in my life. I don't know, but like once you get hit, you're like I'm getting that guy back. That is <laughs> yeah. that is not like, fair. Like I can feel it in my throat. <laughs> it's gone all the way to my throat. I'm getting I, you back. Wait, you know what's do happened? You, does right? it get like one guy is hit one guy in the nuts? Yeah. Right? And then he's going to hit someone else on the nuts. And it was the wrong now guy. Trying to get each other back for getting get hit. <laughs> the by chain nuts. of sack wax. Yeah. Yeah, but could it turn? Does it turn like um, aggressive, like like really hurt? Like, or no, is no, it no, always no, no, just no, no, a joke? No. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't get to. If the you point. don't like the guy, you give it a bit of a slap, you know. Yeah, you're not getting kicked <laughs> in the balls, and then like it's nothing like that. And if you if you if you've had enough, you can tell the guy stop. Like that's enough. The like, truce until someone starts it again. Like three weeks later, you go. I thought we were having a truce, and then it starts all over again. But um, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. I, I, I remember. I get I what you're saying. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. A what? I threw a hard hat at someone. Oh, oh that's because you're angry. Like the, um, he gave me like a, he cupped my. Why? No. Yeah. He gave me a bit of a cupping, mm. and I was like, "Fuck, oh, that's just a bit weird, mate." You know? Yeah. Don't <laughs> yeah, be trying to cut my fucking shit. You know? <laughs> He goes, oh, I was just joking. I fucking threw my head at him. <laughs> <laughs> my, you... my prediction is, yeah, in 10 years, let's say, why not? There will be a lot more openly gay men in sports. Mm. I'm, I'm happy for that. That's, that mm. should, that's, I think no, that's... yeah, I think, I, I think it should, ha- like, I'm not, again, I want to make this very clear. I'm not against people being gay in sports. 
my thing is more well, I mean, the ideology that we're painting it as a completely normal thing to do but it's like, not it's very isolated to some some to me in my experience some sports like it's a very cultural thing mm. um like one of the toughest rugby league players that played rugby league was openly gay. <laughs> one of the, yeah one of the toughest rugby league players that played rugby league <laughs> <laughs> okay when it came out it didn't come out all the way correctly yeah <laughs> it was it was openly gay guy mate you know he was openly gay you not know? for his whole People career shit if that's the thing i can see the end of his career no it was the end culturally wines midway through his career came out are you sure man i think it was like with two years yeah. left and then it, it sort of it kept no 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 like, he, when he moved to Manly, by the time he moved from South to Manly, he, he'd come out gay. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. And and then I think one guy made fun of him, and he punched absolutely crap out of yeah, him. Yeah, because he's a big guy. He, over... he was a big yeah, guy. Yeah, no one ever made fun of him again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I think, I think in male sports, it's more... Like, actually, I say this. I don't know. I'm not women. I've not been on women's teams. But in male sports, like, if a man, given that is the culture of how men behave... If a man then comes out as gay in that team, you probably have a lot of very uncomfortable people around him. Because yeah. in my mind, not only do I, and I'm, I'm making some really big statements here, not only do I believe that there's a lot more homosexuals than, than is openly known about in male sports, but I believe there's a lot of homophobics in male sports as well. Oh, yeah. H- hom- what was that? Homophobics? Yeah. So yeah. I believe the co- like that culture... I think is like like that whole action that's come about is like this compounded uh, impact of putting homosexuals and homophobics in the same place. All right. As I said, I I remember one game, a guy made a remark about his sexual preference and they had a bit of a physical argument and the guy that made the remark learned a lesson never to make that remark again. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, I think, I think in society, I think in society, there's a lot of um, gay but men you know what? Like, that, uh, that if... haven't haven't come out. Oh yeah, yeah I, I agree. But um, even if is, one person on the team, because they don't get to live, they don't get to live the life they want. Yeah. Even if someone on like the team we're, what we're came out, head. yeah. Even if someone on the team came out as gay and the others feel uncomfortable, like hello, uh, check your ego. Doesn't mean that he's going to be into you. Do you know what I mean? Like they might be gay, but they might only have eyes for one person, or they're not gonna like they're yeah, not uh, looking at everyone walking around I think going. It's a it's a new thing for them. I think that it's the way that they cope with that situation. It's like they're coping. The way that they're coping with it is it it's too much for them. It's an overload for them. Mm. So I understand like like when you say check the ego, it, I get it, but at the same time, that's from a place of understanding. So a guy that's like it's a shock to the system. It's sort of like, oh. Oh no, my world was this way, and now you're saying my world's this way. Like you're saying blue, blue's red. Like that's what it's an overload for them. You know what I mean? Mm. So for them to adjust it might take a long time for people to adjust to a new, a new scenario. They but, can't, I don't know. Right. Especially when Watching. when you think about the dynamic of the existing relationship as well. Given that we're talking about the culture of what kinds of things they do in these in the locker room and all that kind of stuff. Like if if that's the culture you're in. And then you get given that information. That's even more of an overload because the way you interact with that person is completely different than like uh, a colleague in an office or mm. someone you live with. Like it's, the f- I'm talking like a phys- physical interaction. Sorry, <clears throat> being that it's a sport. Yeah. And again, like I think it's as Dev said, I think it is just for them. It's that like complete shift in perspective. Yeah. Like wait, hold on. Well, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think like it's it, there's from again this is purely anecdotal but from what i've seen in the sports world there's a lot more um men who be- who are openly gay after finishing their career yeah. rather mm. than during oh, their yeah. career emma uh, in the in the locker rooms mm. in the female locker rooms what would you like to know is it no, i don't want to know like <laughs> i just like is it is it is it there a lot of like is it bubble baths and hello <laughs> <laughs> fights <laughs> Wait, what? No, I don't know. I just is it is Bubble it is it similar to what you've heard? Or is it totally different? Is it just um, like 
everyone in their powder rooms. Like I don't know what I don't <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what happens. happens. No, people the... like uh nude because they yeah. go shower whatnot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you yeah. have you ever played with an uh, openly uh, gay player? Yeah, me. Guys, have you, you ever gay? played with an openly gay player? He said, have you played with an openly oh, gay player? Oh, yeah, but then you said me. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, okay, me, okay. I've played with <laughs> Okay. Have you guys? I was say, is there something you're not no, telling um, honest? I, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played with an openly gay player, but my friend came out to me. Uh, that's totally okay. different, though. That, that's yeah, the different. only reason I asked that question is because I just friend? thought in my head of all the sports I've done, in all the teams I've played, in all the countries I've been, I've never played with an openly gay person in yeah. any sport. That, to me, is where, like, I don't believe... No, I, I believe I've played with gay players, but I don't, I've never played with an openly gay player. Yeah. That's an mm. issue. Yeah, it's, It doesn't foster an environment allowing them to be open. Yeah. Mm. There's no... Yeah, yeah. But I think this activity is part of what prevents people from being able to do but it. But then, oh, I don't know. See, I, I see it differently, I guess. Because I feel like just because somebody's gay, like, do they have to, like, would the straight players have to be like, by the way, I'm straight and I like women? Like, do, is it something that it, it doesn't define them? So, like, it's just one part of them? Like, do they have to? It's, it's, it's a shame if they feel like they can't and they would like to. But perhaps for some people, it's just not a massive deal to them. Like, they're just gay and that's it. That's one part of them and they play sport. Like, do you But not, then would you, you say that a grabbing, if a straight man grabs a guy's ass and a straight man grabs a woman's ass, it's the same act? What was that? Wow. Would you say if a straight guy grabbed a guy's ass and a straight guy grabbed a woman's ass, is it the same act? No, it's not. No, because it's not. The, the woman, grabbing a woman's ass is more sexual than grabbing a guy's ass. That's the thing. Like sexual the, harassment, and, and, when and, you, and, and the grabber's eyes. When you deal with sexual harassment, it's not necess- It's not even about intent. That's not the point. It's about it's the, the appropriateness of your action. Oh, right. Mm. And what I'm saying, and I agree with you, Emma, in terms of I don't think you should have to do anything like that. But at yeah. the same time. You're dealing with a situation where people act and behave in a certain way in male sports, in some male sports. They, 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 they do these things, which makes it even harder for someone in that situation to, to be openly gay. Because if they were to do that, they know, like... When, They're going to get pushed back. All, yeah, we, like, we know what world we live in. We know the reality of the world we live in. Like that, it's, it's not so much from a theoretical standpoint, it's, it's just a realistic standpoint. Mm, food for thought, I hear you. I just want people to live their, their truth to you yeah, personally. I know. So uh, do I. Yeah, yeah. When my friend came out to me, like when he he, he, he said, he goes, I think, anyways, he said, oh, I got something to tell you. And I was like, I was like, I was like, okay. He goes, uh, let's go have dinner. And I was like, all right. <laughs> anyways, he, we had dinner and then he goes, um, I'm gay. And I looked at him. I went, oh, okay, cool. And then I looked at the menu. <laughs> I looked at the menu and I just ordered my food and he's he was sort of like, Did you hear what I said? I go, Yeah, you said you were gay. <laughs> and I said I go, I'll have the pad thai, chicken pad thai thing. <laughs> Wait, but did you like, know like, or you were honest, shocked? No, I wasn't sure. A few of our friends. Yeah. Like uh, you, you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. Like, a few guys I don't yeah, know. I don't I don't know I don't if you know. can tell. Yeah, I, I think I think he's gay. Like you'd be thinking you, I mean you can gay. have thoughts, but you can never like, really oh, know. I, I was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. but so this is my so this is something I find interesting. Your reaction, Dev. Yeah, that's very much how I've been in that situation. But I yeah. wonder if you should care react more? more. Yeah, I don't know because it's such a big deal for them. Yeah, but it like you're you can in just you say- not reacting is also doing them a service in the sense of you're saying like, look, it's just not a big deal. Like that's fine. I'm I'm I don't change. I don't. It doesn't change my view on you in any yeah, way. Like, yeah. To me, it's exactly the same. Yeah. But also, I, I just wonder, like, do they want... Do I, you no, want you just say, oh, man, my, thanks my for initial, telling me. Like, and, that's awesome. And where was yeah. I? I got a pet no, no issues here. Yeah. That's what I'm upset about. I mean, my initial reaction was like that. My initial reaction, CJ, 
you already had two lunches. My initial reaction was <laughs> was like, oh yeah, cool, right? But then throughout the dinner, we had conversations about like, oh, how did you know? When did it happen? And like, what was that? Like, he goes, oh, he told me stories about scenarios that turned up, and I was like, oh, cool, rah rah, and I, and and then it was just interesting. Like, like I told, I like he goes, I he goes, I didn't know if I. Like uh, I was struggling to see if I could tell you guys, and like, I mean, okay, man, we've known each other for <laughs> man twenty years. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> I've known you too long. Like, what are we? What are we doing? And he's like, Yeah, I know. It's just that insecurity. He he goes, I always have that insecurity, you know. And I was like, ne- I go, never ever have that with me. <laughs> we've known yeah. each other for too long. Never ever have that, especially when I've told you my my deep darker secrets of being like a macho man oh randy savage I, I, I know who i i know who you're talking about yeah he sings doesn't he yeah yeah i always knew <laughs> 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 to be honest with you yeah i, I would have got an extra i i, I would have looked at him and you're like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i i I, I knew I've known since you were fourteen, bro. So that's, that's the <laughs> it's, it's good to see you've realised. <laughs> CJ, I tell you, I like how it's blunt. Like CJ, just like if I need a reality check, I don't need to be an actor, right? I go to CJ and goes, just "Wake up, you idiot!" <laughs> that's CJ's go. <laughs> Toughen up. What's your thing? Think, Toughen um, up, like, pussy cat. It, 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 it's, it's good. He's um starting to live his life the way that he. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it is. So jumping, um, jumping back to the, uh, I guess the original article. I think, in general, personally, those mm. types of things shouldn't be in a, at least a professional sports world, mm. because and my reason outside of culture and everything is sports now are more global than ever. So you don't know what culture someone comes from, and beyond <sighs> that, it's a job. They're yeah. not your friends, and if you like. Yeah, something has become really apparent in the NBA because of the whole bubble situation, and there's there's a lot more attention on the players and what's going on and stuff. Is it's very apparent that players show up and go to work like they don't because they're on this. Uh, they're, so for perspective, they're on this bubble campus in Orlando Disneyland, so yep. they can't leave. So the only people they engage with are each other and stuff. And some people are saying like, oh, that person's like they're checked out, and they're like, no, they're just to themselves that they, they just don't hang out with you guys like that's just not you're not their friends um and that's something you have to take in account for in a professional sports world is that you are bringing together a group of people who are not friends they are not people who have that relationship and regardless of whether two people in the office have that relationship like if it's an office regardless of, if you have two people who have that relationship you still have boundaries because it has to apply to everyone i i, I don't like I, I understand that for the basketball situation but like like you said like football uh soccer and all that kind of stuff some of them uh started in youth and they've brought those games yeah, some, up from youth. some of them uh, well in in league i'd say the culture starts from when they're young so even when they get to reps the culture's there already so when they get to the pros in the league, the culture, man. But it's, you're it's, assuming it's, that's a culture everyone wants. Like, no, 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 used, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that that's what they want. That's not what I'm saying. What they want. He didn't want his crutch grabbed. Yeah, yeah. That's that's he not what happy I'm happy about getting his willy grabbed. I'm not saying that's what Always they want. Bottom. I'm saying the culture within the club is already embedded. I'm not saying the yeah, pe- but the, that to me that's an easy workaround. You just put you put literal rules in place. They have now. Like so you can you so can that, disseminate any culture as yeah. easily as you want. It just depends what rules you're willing to put I, in place. I disagree so AFL only because now said absolutely uh, only no because they like unless and I like I don't think it's that easy to to stop uh culture that way because once once the kids come through, you'll have to wait for the last kid to get um that's gone through that that culture to leave if that makes sense you can't let me replace the scenario with a different scenario which is culture driven to see if you still keep that stuff university boarding school i was, I was just gonna say hollywood oh. yeah. the way that the way the hollywood system now with the way we especially women have to go through to get positions and roles and stuff 
Yeah. Do you believe that that you have to drive? You have yeah, to wait that's, until that's everyone's out of that. But that's a different situation. I'm talking about the Why? the culture because a club culture is different to a Hollywood culture. A club culture is um, that's that's just not the young people. The heads of that culture won't in um, enforce those rules. They'll say this is the rules that you have to follow, and they'll wink. That's what I'm getting at. Mm-hmm. It's just not, it's embedded throughout. Even the people, so even if you got champions, uh, old champions will come back to the club and they go, oh, back in my day, this is what I used to do. You know what I mean? It's it's embedded, Alexander. Okay. It's not It's not like so Hollywood. Thing, Hollywood's just like but, the old actors don't come back and they go, oh, you know, they don't give their opinion. A club is like a family. Is just sleazy. A club's like my a family. My thing I though. would say, I would say, against that is mm. i would say the culture of hollywood is way more ingrained than the culture of a sports club specifically a club because in a club you have turnover you're getting new athletes you're getting new coaches you're getting new staff you're getting new owners like that is turnover that that is way more turnover than you get in hollywood the people so like harvey weinstein be- has been at the top for his whole career like mm. that's not a that's way more embedded but what i would say is if you put the rules in place that now gives people a, a, a system to beat the culture because when the rules are in place, you now have something to utilize and leverage to stop those actions. But if the yeah, rules are never put in place, yeah. I you guess, can't. I guess, yeah, you're right. I guess the person that's in charge has to enforce the new the new changes to the culture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I see. I think it's less the people in charge. I think it's more the people, the the players themselves. Because if the players comp- if the players actually address it. Like the ones who are uncomfortable with it, if it happens and they address it, they can address it to their their level management, whatever. If it doesn't get nothing gets done, you can always escalate. If nothing gets done, go to the media. Like they're professional athletes. We're not talking about like random people. Like they a hundred percent could stop it if they. But I believe it would have to start with players, not see, with upper management. See, as much as as much as I I look, I agree with what you're saying, like certain parts. But at the same time, so if you escalate it. You get it to like to a certain point, and then you go. Fuck! No one's listening to me. Let's go to the media, right? You're done. Who's gonna it's sign you? No one's signing. Who's anyone. signing you? No one's signing yeah. you. Like that's your source of income. No one's you signing you. You realize you could. Who's, uh, yeah. No. 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 When his contract's finished, you won't be signed. Yeah, that's again. it. You go. You know what? You're, you're right. I, you're right. We're, we'll I've... change the culture for you. You're right. You're 100 percent right. Um, at the end of your contract, um, you haven't been performing. Oh, I think I'll see you later. Your list. I think that is a perspective of a world five years ago, and okay. the reason I say that is because of Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, because yeah. no, it, it, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same situation, now. but they did the exact same thing to him. Mm. But now in 2020, they're all scrambling for him because they realize how bad of a look it is. Like sports is also about business, and that's why I say the media. Yeah, because yeah. if one person did it, I can I can understand what you're saying. Yeah, but again, I believe at least half the people in like I, as someone who was outspoken about not liking it, people who weren't outspoken about not liking it would come to me and talk to me about it. I believe that probably about half of people don't like that culture, but you you just like the sport. Like I used to play the sport for years because I liked the sport. Oh, not because look, of the Alexander, I'm not saying people will like the culture. That's not what I'm saying. I, and, and I agree with you that people will not like the culture, like the that kind of culture. I understand that. And that um, the way that the... the uh, like, they will 100% because I'm not into that. So I understand what you're saying. I understand that, like, that people will but be how many outspoken. People, how many and, people do you think it takes to create us? Like, the uh, avalanche effect. Like, it's only going to take two or three people to say something. You can't continuously keep blackballing people. Mm. Like so they will become very obvious very quickly, and the media will crucify the league. Yeah, absolutely crucify them. Like that. That's what I mean by the con. That's what's happened here now with Colin Kaepernick. It has taken years, but that's exactly what's happened. Is they've gone, like the media were like, "What? What the hell?" And then it was like, oh, they, they put their position across where they made it seem justified. And it was like, it's back and forth for years. And it got to the point where everyone's like, okay, no, you're blatantly just blackballing this guy because of what he's done. Yeah. Like, there's no justification for it at this point. And that's like, I'm not, I'm not, by the way, I'm not suggesting this to happen overnight, but I definitely think that you could shift that culture a lot quicker than probably a lot of people think. Mm. It's the same way a country can shift really quickly. Like, you can sh- you can shift a culture. It just to me, it just depends on how far you're willing to go to shift that culture. 
And I think what the problem we have is we have a lot of embedded ideologies, not just like across society, but we're not willing to go far enough to remove them. Because if we step too far in one direction, that would also mean we have to concede other things like money. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, no more bum grabs AFL plays because the AFL governing body will be watching. I was never into the crotch, crotch grabs. Nah. If someone wants to grab my bum, if someone wants to grab my bum, I'm going to try to fight on their hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always got one in the chamber. Just in case for that, yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, grab it. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. A, yeah. Stinky hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Stinky hand, stinky hand. <laughs>